Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very exciting day for me and for my team. So we are going to have a soft opening for our new fish store. The name of the store is JJ Aquarium and it's located in 210 G Street in Antio, California. And uh, this used to be um, named as Fantastic. So we, we purchased the store from the um, previous owner and uh, we changed everything. We renovated the, the, the entire store. We put new stuff, we put um, new stock of fish and um, fish food just like what I have here behind me. So um, I'm gonna show you in this video the progress of our renovation. And um, on this video, I hope you guys will have an idea on what we have in here. Uh, it's not yet final. We are just doing a soft opening for today. And within a month, we're going to have the grand opening, which um, by the time we should have um, everything pretty straightforward and set up properly um, we are trying to see what are the fish that we need to carry and as well as the fish food so um, give us some time to learn things uh, this is new to us everything is new to us here uh, we've been keeping fish for a very long time but having a fish store it's a totally different ball game so hang on tight um, enjoy watching and if you have any questions please leave a comment down below thank you Look at that, just like a pro. <laughs> Here we go guys, it's coming along. Here is the breeding room. And when you get, go outside of this, this will be the sales floor. All right, guys, it's painting time. So um, while John and Heather is busy downstairs painting the wall and the ceiling, um, I'm here on the second floor. I'm trying to get these tanks ready. So I'm going to paint them blue using the acrylic paint and uh, the roller. So it's going to be um, nice and neat and quicker. So right now I have 10 pieces of 10 gallons and 20 pieces of 20 high. So those are the tanks that we are going to use primarily on this um, fish store that we are going to open or we will be opening on the first of the Friday. Maybe sooner, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for now, I'm gonna paint this up. I'm gonna show you guys later what will be the result. So stay tuned. It's okay not to put something on the floor. Um, it's because this carpet right now where I'm standing, it's not gonna stay here. 
this will go away once we're done painting this tank so it's okay to make a mess If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload my next video. And here we go again, picking up some wood for the fish room. And right now it's about 8 o'clock p.m. <laughs> and we're still working. Seven. Seven. Yeah, somewhere right there. But yeah, pick up a lot of wood again. Cut it, put it together, paint it, unlimited. <laughs> You will notice in this video that even family and friends are trying to help us get the renovation complete as quick as possible so we can start serving the fish community here in my during the renovation of the store we encounter some issues and one of the issue is looking for a fish tank so this specific fish tank that we build required 20 gallon high and unfortunately the petco around my area run out of 20 gallon high on their inventory because we uh, purchased about 30 pieces of 20 gallon high and most of the store carry only you know five six seven so um, there are some hobbies a little bit farther away from us that um, willingly help us to purchase the tank on their area and um, we made some arrangement to make it happen If you guys notice, the fish rock that we built is inspired by Aquarium Co-op. Uh, we tried to make room as much as we can for you know the, the gap in between tanks so our hands can fit perfectly fine when catching fish. We decided to build two different set of rack. So the first rack consists of 30 pieces, 20 gallon high fish tank. And on the other side, we have another fish tank rack that consists of um, 15 gallons or 10 gallons fish tanks. So we have 15 pieces of 10 gallons of fish tanks on the other side of the store. After we set up the tanks, we filled up with top water and um, we made sure that the water will be safe for my fish. So we used the Bubbles and Troubles Aqua Safe to dechlorinate the water and also we use back to splash to help us to cycle the tank in a quicker way and avoid having casualties and as you guys can see we're building another racks for our bigger fish tanks 
little bit, but all right. In the fish, you can either be an engineer, you can either be a flower, you can either be a creature. This aquarium stand that we're building is for 130 gallon, two levels, and that's the reason why we're using larger kind of wood. Also, we decided to replace the light fixture for this location just to make sure that the location will be inviting and safe for our customers. A couple of days before the soft opening, we decided to hang the store new logo and uh, make sure that the customers in the area are aware that JJ Aquarium will be opening soon. While my business partner is busy with the store renovation, I took a quick trip to pick up an item that we will need for the store. I'm here today in uh, Sacramento and I'm picking up some uh, gondola or retail uh, shelving for my fish store or the fish shop that we're trying to build or renovate and uh, this is the cheapest deal that I can ever find um, all over the internet so yeah that's the reason why I, try, I drove one hour away so here are the parts for the gondola or retail shelving that I picked up in uh, Sacramento and I'm gonna try to build them and have them on this side of the fish store or the shop uh, as you guys can see there's still a lot of things that needs to be done but uh, I think we got it I think we're still doing good so here I pick up three section about five feet height about nine feet long and that's plenty enough to cover this wall right here so show you guys in a minute on how to assemble this thing if you would like to know more about the gondola or the retail shelving please feel free to comment down below and i will be more than happy to provide you more details within 10 to 15 minutes we are done assembling the gondola or the retail shelving and this is how it looks like video so I have something to do. Hey guys um, we are now putting in the baseboards for the wall and check how it looks like. Alright so here we go. I'm putting the adhesive and John is the one putting on the baseboards. I got the easy one again. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover all this wall make it look nice. you for my next video i will show you guys what do we have after the renovation and what are the products and kind of fish that we are selling in our store thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on my next one thank you and have a good day